Traditionally, the loops were made using all white, white netting, organdy, tracing thread and sewing thread. But for today, I'm using a black background with red sewing thread so you can actually see it. To make the loops, you first of all make a bridge as such. So I'm just once again pulling up the thread so as I'm making a bridge. I am then pushing with my thumb and as I'm pushing the thread away with my thumb it makes a loop. Needle, I'm putting the loop down into place and I'm putting three stitches in. One, two, three to hold the loops down in place. I'm putting one stitch in between. Once again, making a bridge with my thread, a bridge like such. So I just pulled it up and pushing the thread away. And as I'm pushing the thread away, it twists. Now that just comes with practice. Seriously, it's just, it's just a matter of just twisting, twisting all the time. And that's, I'm pulling it down and taking my three stitches. And as I take my three stitches, I'm traveling along. Now, this loop here is bigger than the other loops. So at this stage, I'm able to pull it down into place. So I've got a nice even loop there. Pulling my thread tight and one more stitch in between here. Once again, making the bridge with the thread. So I've got a bridge like that. Twisting, oops, bridge, twisting away. Just moving my thread away from me, using my thumb. And as I move the thread away with my thumb, it twists around like so. Now it takes a little bit of practice. Now at this stage I'm checking my loops to make sure my loops are all the same size. Now last time making a stitch just between the loops making the bridge and then twisting the thread with my thumb, twisting the thread of my thumb, pulling back down to size, checking to see, yeah that's about right, and that's the way. The, loop is the loops, making the loops is just a series of just practicing. Practicing and that's it.